Darren, just looking back on that one, do you feel a point was a fair result there? Yeah, probably. Um, I would have had a different view at half-time, but in the second half, uh, didn't maintain the levels with the ball that we had in the first half. So on the balance of play, you know, they had a couple of opportunities. Didn't didn't really overwork Lochi, but when he was called in, I mean, what a save. Keeper's unbelievable. Um, so so lucky to have him, to have him in our team. Um, and he was brilliant again today. Um, but you know we, we've had to we've had to change the shape. Uh, we lost Callum on Friday morning. Obviously brought young Charlie in. I thought quit himself very well, um, considering don't even think that he knows everyone's name yet. Um, and the change of shape I had no time to work on that. But you know my values in football, irrespective of shape, is how we take care of the ball. And in the first half we moved it around terrifically well. Um, great little interchange with JT and and Shaq that could have put us in front, but wasn't to be and then second half just didn't didn't take the sting out of the game just again just didn't really get control of the game a little bit more control when Andre came on because that's the type of player he is um, just disappointing disappointing in the end with how we've played in the second half but not too disappointed with the, with the result with a few more players coming back to full fitness now how much more freedom does that give you in terms of team selection and formation Listen, we've got some good players at this club and we, we, we're building a good team. And if people don't perform, they're going to find themselves out of the team because I've got, I've got four or five people, I've got two or three in the treatment room that are desperate to be back in here. I've got good players across the squad. If you don't perform, you come out of the team, someone else goes in. That's how it's, that's how it's got to be. Charlie Rowan signed yesterday, kind of thrown in at the deep end. First, first appearance for us today, how did you feel he got on? He'd done ever so well in the, in the first half, um, you know, when, when we were dominating the ball. Uh, one or two things that he'll improve on d- defensively, which I have no doubt about, the more comfortable and confident he gets around the group of players we have. Um, and in the second half, just felt he, he got a little bit leggy, so went back to a bit more of a familiar shape that the boys know that we work with. Um, that kind of contributed to us not passing the ball as well, funnily enough. It's not a bad player to have a long line up alongside him today. Ricardo Santos, what, what performance for you out there? He's a mountain, isn't he? Um, he just changes gear when he needs to. It's just, you know, if we could keep him fit, it'd be it'd be huge for us, absolutely huge. You know, I, I, it's unfortunate we got to manage uh, his, his injury and his his knee, um, but when he puts in shows like that, and listen, we had a decision to make before the game. You know, we have got two games in three days. Like to play him in the both, of course I would, but if. You know, we're looking at it and going, shall it be the away game, shall it be the home game? Um, so we, we've obviously gone with the away game and we're just hopeful with when we're back in training tomorrow and, you know, we assess him, he gets a cool down and some ice baths and whatever, then he'll be a monster for us again on Monday because exactly. he's, he's, he's outstanding, outstanding. Great kid as well, great kid. Such a quick turnaround now with Torquay on Monday. How, how, as a manager, how do you prepare your side for that game? Listen, I've, I've, I've had a little pop at him in there because they, 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 they frustrate me because I've got, I know we've got a good team. I know we've got a good team. I know we need to add, as I, as I keep saying, but we've got a good team. And the one thing we're normally very good at is controlling the ball and dealing with the ball. And we didn't do it well enough in the second half. So I'm really, really disappointed for them, for them, because I know they're good players. Um, but what we've got to do is rest and recover tomorrow and come out and to make in my opinion to make this point today better we've got to back it up with three on Monday that's the game does that sort of show the potential that we have in this team that we're coming away from places like Wrexham Sutton without three points and we're annoyed about that listen I think what it is is the result you know you've come to a team that started the season okay as well so the result maybe you know if you pick up points on the road not the worst thing in the world but there's no point doing it if you ain't backing it up with wins at home and that's what was frustrating with the first week of the season. Didn't back it up with the two home games. Um, got to learn from that. Got to learn very quickly. No thinking time. We've got to learn and be ready Monday to back up today's point by getting free on Monday. That's the, that's the job. That's what we're, we're trying to do on Monday.